I make no apologies for the fact that this fucker is scripted today. Okay, so go. Hi, I'm Rosie, and today I'm going to 2020 you at 5.30 on a Friday on how you can use customer insights research that massively improves search results by better engaging content that delivers in its own right, but also gives you better success at link building. So, why does customer insight equal great results in search? We already know content is king, but if everyone is churning out content that's distinctly average, then customer insight gives you the edge to create content that properly engages the target audience, remains sticky, shared and fresh, and is the content the target sites you're trying to get links from really want to feature. We know more effective content increases reach through wider presence on search engines and increased engagement with customers on a Roth site, but in addition to these, really effective and targeted content makes look building so much easier by helping you understand the audience's media habits and therefore where it's best to focus on to gain links with the highest success rate. The first information you need to research is media habits. What do your audience like to read online? How often? On what devices? Who influences them? You know how to research keywords and high value link targets, but until you've asked the customer directly what media they consume online, how do you know whether that great link target you found is going to drive good numbers of engaged traffic as well? Find out about lifestyle choices. What's important to them in life? What do they value? Is it a healthy body and mind? Is it a fine wine and an even finer woman? Is it happiness and fulfillment, or do they have an axe to grind in life? By understanding what's important to them, it'll inform the language you use in your content and help you engage with them in a way they're going to respond to. Find out what they do in their spare time. Relax and unwind with friends. Learn new hobbies. Go down the pub and get twatted. Or sit home and write poetry. With any target audience, you'll see common themes appear around hobbies, activities, and preferred pastimes. Use this information to create content that supports that, offers advice on those hobbies, ways to improve relaxation techniques, etc., etc. Last is family and social info. Who do they regularly spend time with, and how do those relationships influence them? Do they have children, other dependents, who might they ask advice from around day-to-day -day issues, and how do they spend their time with those people? Incorporating social programming and activity into content lets you utilise the daily interactions that people have around them. Well-searched media and content <coughs> forms a cycle of success. Customers consume media that matches their lifestyle preferences, values, pastimes, etc. Content that matches the same profile will naturally be of interest to that media, as it will already be written for their target audience about things they want to read and in the tone they like to engage with. The first method of customer insight we use is focus groups. A small managed discussion on a set of topics and questions around a brand, product, service you're trying to promote. It's a chance to test theories you have about your target audience, their lifestyle, their buying habits, social habits, media they consume, etc. These can be one-off or can be regular. Ways to do a focus group. Individually recruit top or repeat purchasers through the client's current customer database. Incentivise people to turn up. Hold it at your client's building for additional engagement. Have eight to 10 in each group from a similar demographic. Always use a professional facilitator who can keep control of the flow of conversation and don't run the group longer than an hour. This is going to give you qualitative data. Use the focus groups to really question theories you have about why people buy a particular product or how they really perceive a brand. Let them talk about what matters to them. This will often open your eyes to things you hadn't even thought about. You can then sift through that information to put it into a questionnaire. Questionnaires are created to get more detail around interesting points and views raised by the focus group. You can use it to get laser-targeted information about the customer's values, media habits, lifestyle choices, etc. In the focus group, you may have discussed a certain topic with a range of responses. The questionnaire now allows you to formulate a structured question, asking people to say which response they most agree with. Send it to a full customer database this time, covering anyone who may have bought from the client before. Make the questionnaire short and to the point, max 30 questions if possible. Questions should be formed from the top level data collected at focus groups and you'll need to incentivise again. Sample sizes should be much bigger this time, if possible 500 plus, and you can use an online survey tool. You'll get quantitative data from the focus group to back up and give you the numbers for your marketing and link building strategy. It will supply the customer detail for content that really engages them, e.g. 65% of customers value a big car over a big garden. It will supply media habit information to help you select the link targets that will give link juice and engage visitors. So, what do you do with all this information once you've had it and put it into a useful plan for content and link building? The answer is to build a customer profile for each type of customer who might be researching and buying online. 
No matter what brand you're working with, there'll be niche groups of people within the target audience that will need to be targeted differently. So here is an example of a customer profile for a bride and her family who might be considering buying wedding insurance. Research has shown the bride has specific values and worries about her wedding different to those of her family. She wants everything to be perfect, of course, is the main decision maker but is heavily influenced by media. They want the best for her but are more focused on making the right money decisions rather than the big day itself. And here's a supporting media profile for it. Both groups read a large amount of the same media on a regular basis, from online newspapers to magazines to bloggers, but the bride also reads a large range of wedding-focused material which she'll take great influence from. So create content to target her concerns and get them placed on the wedding media and create content that's more money related for the media her family read. So in practice, we had a home insurance company situated within a highly competitive industry up against some major insurance brands with bottomless pockets. We were tasked with getting more traffic to the site and had to look at alternative ways of link building rather than just linking to home insurance terms. So we researched what really mattered to the target audience in relationship to their lifestyle and their homes. So we found out the target audience finds life a busy struggle a lot of the time and really values help and advice around their home and lifestyle. So we created a set of content around this need and started to link build using lifestyle terms such as improving my garden, throwing a dinner party. Terms were far less competitive and easier to sell in. Engagement levels increased and traffic KPIs were hit. So in summary, plan it properly. Use professionals to run groups and plan questions. It doesn't have to be expensive. It produces brilliant targeted content, which equals much better success at link building and will help you to beat off the competition. Thank you.